Hello y'all. So I'm currently in my finished apartment right now. Full disclosure, I moved into this apartment all the way back in August and I well know we are currently in December. When I first saw the ads for this apartment on Craigslist, it was looking so rough, my dudes. I will go ahead and insert the actual Craigslist ad photos that I saw of this apartment. I know she's very rusty, but for whatever reason, I saw potential and also the price was right. And this is a very old Japanese apartment, but for some reason I find a lot of charm in that. Like even these closet doors are really cute. So I saw a lot of good things in this apartment, but without further ado, I will show you guys the before shots. <laughs> So one of the first things that I noticed about this apartment is that it had incredible lighting. I love the two large corner windows in the bedroom and also it came with a lot of furniture already like this desk and cabinet over here and it also came with a bookshelf already. So there was a lot of furniture that I wouldn't have to purchase myself. And the kitchen is where it definitely needed a lot more improvement, but I saw a lot of potential in it. It came with a lot of the appliances already, such as the refrigerator and the microwave. And the best part was having a washing machine and dryer combo, bish. And this kitchen also came with a two gas stove. A lot of Japanese apartments only have a one gas stove. And it also came with this toaster oven as well as these cabinets that I thought I could make shift into like a pantry just to utilize this space because it is a small Japanese sized kitchen. But also the best part is that this kitchen has two windows, one right above the sink, which is super nice when I'm cooking and doing the dishes. I just don't feel as stuffy when I get to open these large windows and see beautiful greenery. It's just a really nice touch and honestly gives me a little bit of Studio Ghibli vibes. I don't know, let me know what you think. And actually when I first saw this apartment, it didn't have this shower unit in it. <laughs> it was literally installed right before I moved in, but it's actually kind of nice you can adjust the temperature as well as turn on the light and a fan and although it's really small i just live alone so this isn't that bad and i'm just glad that i have a shower in my apartment <laughs> so that is what the kitchen looks like so the first area that I thought would be super easy to tackle was my desk area. I actually really liked the desk and the cabinet that the apartment already came with, but I was not a fan of this black fold-out chair. It just looks super outdated, it was super uncomfortable, it just had to go. So I switched it out for this cute white eggshell chair that I got off of Amazon. It was only 3,000 yen and I feel like the chair just completely changed the vibe and the look of the desk area. And right next to it, I have all my beauty products and hair products, but it just doesn't look cute when it's out in the open like that. So I put a woven basket underneath for my hair tools and I got two baskets to match on top. And this way I think everything looks a lot more unified and clean. Tis another day, tis another dollar. I have been filming this over multiple days, but your girl has finally got a bed. So we have finally gotten rid of that sofa bed. Me and my tiny, tiny landlord moved it all by ourselves down an entire floor into a new apartment complex that he has around the corner. It was not an easy task. I'm so sore from it, and this happened like a week and a half ago, but I finally have here a semi-double bed. She's not a queen, but you know what? She's bigger than the sofa bed. She's comfier than the sofa bed. And I also got this grand carpet. Would you like to take a look? <laughs> you guys, this rug is a game changer. So much softer than I actually expected. It's like the first home that I actually get to decorate myself and get to really call my own and really make my own space. So I'm kind of just going off of what feels good. And for some reason, having a nice fuzzy pink Wrong. It seemed rational and it seemed to make sense to me and I've never doubted it for a second.
already I'm enjoying the vibe a lot better. But something that I can't stand though that came with this apartment are these treacherous curtains. But the other day, my partner was talking to me about what biblical angels look like and quite frankly, they're horrifying. Anyway, one night when I was trying to go to bed, I was looking at my terrifying curtains and I realized they look like biblical angels. <laughs> I don't want to sleep at night like that, so we're gonna have to change them. And luckily, I ordered a new set of curtains and they're gonna match the carpet and it's gonna be really cute. Wait, I'm not. And there we go. So I'm a little nervous because Oh, I didn't see these curtains in person. I just found them online and I got them from Nitori because that's literally where I'm getting everything. <laughs> but these are cute. I'll show you guys up close, but they're not a solid pink. They're kind of like a woven color. Okay, so let's take down the demons. <laughs> I mean, uh, angels. And put up some pink curtains instead. And when I was researching pink curtains online, I was finding some things that uh, I didn't want to find. One set down, one more to go. So I nailed it uh, into the wall. Some time has passed. It is now a cloudy fall October day, hence the Uniqlo men's section hoodie. So anyway, today I wanted to go ahead and hang these two gold frames up. Although the pineapple is adorbs, I thought I'd go ahead and hang up my own artwork. I already have the prints that I want to put up in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these out. I did put on socks before I film this because honestly, if you guys are going to get some foot action from me, I think I should just start at OnlyFans at that point. Y'all ain't going to get these toes for free. <laughs> I used to be super into watercoloring back in college when I was living in San Francisco. Really enjoyed drinking wine and getting lit um, because hashtag college. I would just drink wine with my roommates and my pals and we just start watercoloring together and those are some of my favorite memories. Ooh, I think we're close, bish. Hopefully this one will slide in as easily as the last one. That's what she said. <laughs> So a little change of scenery. We're over here at my precious wall. So I wanted to hang these two above my desk area because it's just a blank wall. I need a little inspiration. I need a little jazz. I wanted to take this guy. It used to be where my full length mirror is now and I kind of wanted to put it maybe somewhere around here. I think we got that one down. Is it working? So I was originally going to have this hanging on the wall like next to the paintings but I kind of want it like floating in the air like the majestic queen that she is. Well, I tied some string and added some pins so hopefully I can puncture it with the ceiling so it could actually be floating down. Oh it worked! So far I think it's looking pretty cute above my desk. Hello friends and welcome to my kitchen floor. For today, I could try to channel a Trisha Paytas type energy, hashtag crying on my kitchen floor. I thought I'd go ahead and make some Daiso cardboard cubbies that I think would look nice in this like makeshift pantry cabinet type area. Does that not look so much better? I also got this really cute fruit basket. So I think I'll just go ahead and add these all in. Hello. As we all know, 
I do not have a proper bathroom in my apartment. So like a normal functioning kitchen, yes, I use a sink to do my dishes. But the fun part is that this is the only sink that I have in this apartment. So when I want to brush my teeth, wash my face, I also get to use the same sink that I wash my dishes in. It's not that bad, but I thought it'd be a little useful if I actually hung up a mirror. Oh, it's a really decent size. I think this is perfect. So to refresh your memory, there was some kind of like grid drying rack thing that was over this mirror, didn't like it there. So I actually moved it over to this wall right here and I repurposed it into a really cute spice rack. And I put this fake vine that I had from Daiso already on top and I think it looks really cute. So yeah, now that I have the free space, I think I'm gonna add the mirror. Welcome to another controversial episode of crying on my kitchen floor. But what I do have are all of these little cabinet slash wallpaper stickers from Daiso. I've already laid the first piece down. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start applying it to all of them. And I'm gonna be doing that with my handy dandy Tupperware top.